uh, as well as I think the N52's 52 engine. Um, actually, uh, <laughs> my friend, um, <laughs> in his. Oh. So about a year ago when my service advisor at my local BMW dealership told me my oil housing, my oil filter housing gasket was leaking oil and the gasket, which is this rubber seal that you see here, needed to be replaced. I said, all right, whatever. And then he told me what it was going to cost, like about $1,300. I said, nope, no way. I've done it before in my older BMWs. I'll do it myself again. So I went over to the dealership and bought the gasket. It's this thing you see here. And at the time, I think I paid 30 or $35 for it. It wasn't too much money. Um, put it away. I never did the work because the oil leaks for some reason on these cars. They leak uh, really bad in the winter months or cold months. But the minute it gets warmer, the leaks sort of um, reside a little bit. And it wasn't leaking that much. Now, I put this away. And in the recent weeks, I was looking to do the work. And I got into someone talking to someone in the forum. And they mentioned that BMW was hitting up the JDM market for their parts. And these... Gaskets were now made in Japan. Uh, OEM dealership parts that they sell and use on the cars. Uh, and I was like, wow, that's news to me. So let's uh, let's uh, discuss this. Hey, what's up, guys? I am back again, and I'm going to mainly talk about the oil filter housing gasket. Once again, I did a lot of research in the last time, since last time I did the video, um, regarding the issue with changing an oil filter housing gasket on my particular car, which is a 2011 um, 335i. Um, basically that covers the E9, E90 and E92, E93 um, BMWs from the 2011 year, specifically my year, um, maybe 2012 and 2013 for this um, E90 generation cars. Um, what happens if you change the gasket, chances are you'll run into problems about minutes after you change the gasket out where the engine seizes after driving it for a few minutes. Basically the engine seizes from oil starvation. Now, um, I mainly wanted to talk about the gasket in this video because it's um, interesting enough. This gasket is a lot of um, a lot of drama within the gasket itself, so I wanted to discuss that. But um, this gasket will work in a range of BMWs, um, and that's the thing why I think this is important because it's not just my car. You're looking at BMW, the 1 Series, 3 Series, X3, X5 Series, as well as the 5 Series BMWs that have the same engine or similar engines. Basically, it's the N5 four and five, two and five, five, and 55 engines. Um, now, when I bought my car, it was um, not even four or five years old. It had about 40,000 miles in it. And at the time, I put a screen cap in the video. The car was leaking oil from this gasket. I didn't realize it at the time until I believe the second year of owning this car, I took it to the dealership and they explained to me the gasket was leaking. I did change the gasket on my E46. I'm not even sure if I did a YouTube video on it because it was so easy to change. It took me a few minutes in freezing cold. I did the gasket on E46. It was the M54 engine. You could do the gasket with alternate at the same time, which is what I did. On this car, I located the oil filter housing and I realized the gasket, after doing research, is fairly easy to change. Um, the only thing is a lot of work in um, removing engine components, engine cover components, to get to the gasket itself. And not even the gasket, just to get to the, one of the bolts that's hidden under the intake manifold. Now, um, we're going to take a closer look and I'm going to talk to you about this specific gasket and what's very interesting about this gasket that's not discussed, but it should be discussed and it should be um, a thing that people should know about. So guys, behold, behold the N55 engine in all its glory, 300 horsepower, one of the most awarded engine for its generation um, for this car and a lot of other cars. It's really fast, really great engine, but the only thing is... The oil leaks on these engines are just horrendous. Now, I mentioned I did my oil filter housing gasket on my E46, which is a 2001 330i BMW. And at the time, the gasket was leaking. It wasn't even leaking that much. The car had 80,000 miles, maybe more. Um, and the car was well over 10 years old. Now, when I bought this car, I mentioned it barely had 40,000 miles in a clock. And it was about five, a little over five years old, not quite five years old. I bought it in 2016. It was a 2011 um, production year car. So it wasn't even five years old yet. And the gasket was leaking oil. At the time, I didn't realize it. What it is, you'll see saturation along here. I didn't realize it was leaking oil, but 
a year or two of owning this car. I took it to the dealership and that's when they explained to me that's what that is. I Googled and I realized that's what it was. And basically this seal gets rotted away real easy, real prematurely because you don't expect gaskets to leak in engines or cars cost as much as this car um, in such a short time, four or five years, 40,000 miles. The seals don't, the rubber seals don't leak. Now the issue with the original gaskets or the rumors of what I've researched online is that BMW at the time this car came out, these, these production year cars came out, they used inferior, um, basically what it was, the materials of the gasket was inferior rubber. Um, it might have been recycled or something like that, I heard, I'm not sure what. But it's basically inferior to what Japanese cars like Honda Civics, Honda Accords use. So over the time, BMW upgraded the gaskets. From what I've heard, um, didn't believe it, but BMW was buying the gaskets from Japan. Or the gaskets were made in Japan um, to BMW spec specifications to fit in these engines. Now, the time at the time, people were um, buying aftermarket gaskets from that was made overseas in Taiwan or China or Japan or Asia. But the problem with the gaskets, the rubber, the materials were superior to what BMW had used originally, but the fit was not quite fitting. So what will happen, someone will replace the gasket and then you'll have leaks right away because the gasket didn't quite fit because it's not a BMW original equipment product. So the rumor was BMW started just, you know, making our gaskets overseas. And I bought this from the dealership. And I didn't notice at the time, but look at what it says there. It says made in Japan. So this gasket is made in Japan. So basically what that means is this gasket has the superior rubber or the superior materials that won't um, degrade so quickly. And it has that BMW original equipment fit. So I'm not even sure what the part number, the part number is right there. So make sure when you buy your replacement gaskets, make sure it says made in Japan and not made in Germany. Um, so you'll have... Uh, a better chance of it not leaking so soon because if I replace that gasket with the original gasket, chances are that gasket, the replacement gasket, if the first gasket leaked in 40,000 miles, the replacement gasket will leak in another 40,000 miles. So with this gasket, now I'm seeing it made in Japan. It has that superior rubber according to what I read. Basically, this should last maybe 100,000 miles, hopefully. So, um, but sadly enough. So this was my engine at 40,000 miles, about four to five years old with the oil leak from the gasket right there. The center of the engine, I missed it when I bought the car. Now the oil saturates out from the gasket when the gasket corrodes and spreads up the housing body as well as down and it could leak potentially onto the belts, the engine belts, which sits right below the third bolt. And what happens if oil leaks in the belts, you could slip, they could slip off and get sucked into the engine. Here is the inside of the housing, uh, oil housing, and you see where fresh oil comes out at one, bad oil, dirty oil goes in at two, and four is where the coolant flows. Here's a, um, another opening of the housing um, to show you guys how bad the leak is on this car. It's not my car, but this is a really bad leak there. Um, and just a second look at the gasket. Um, these newer version gasket also have like little nubs on the inside of the gaskets to help it sit better inside the housing grooves. And that's it. That's the part number here in case you guys are looking to buy this um, particular um, gasket. Uh, the dealership will sell these, but if you buy them outside of the dealership, that's what you want to buy. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.